Welcome to the Behind the Girl Boss podcast, where every woman's journey takes center stage. Join us in this safe space as we explore the ins and outs of business, career, mental health, the music industry, and more. Whether you're a go-getter or a dream chaser, we've got stories for you. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok for an exclusive backstage pass. Get ready to be inspired, empowered, and entertained. Welcome to the ride. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to the podcast. Hello. Um, today obviously is going to be a solo episode and it's just me and that's about it. Um, it is going to be a shorter one, but I'm just ready to dive into it. So our mantra of the week is I release the feeling of guilt, hurt, and shame. I feel like that really resonates with today's episode because we're going to talk all about like aging, birthdays, what I learned the past fucking 25 years of my life sorry my computer was saying weird things um so yeah we're just gonna dive literally right into it so the first thing i want to talk about is my fear of fucking aging and if you're my friend you you know um that i'm low-key struggling with my age a bit and i think it's because like when i would think about being 26 the bright age of 26 i thought my life would be completely different than it is right now like I just didn't expect it to be what it is but at the same time it's like funny because I compare myself to like okay like I thought like when you were 26 like you're supposed to have like kids and be married and like all that stuff but at the end of the day like I don't even want those things like I personally don't want kids marriage like whatever like it's not like a must for me but it's like if it happens it happens But I'm just like not in that place right now. So it's like weird to be like comparing myself to like these other people my age that are doing that when like I don't even want that. It's like why, why am I comparing myself? Why am I doing that when like I don't want that? You know what I mean? It's like complicated, but that's like where I'm at right now where I'm just like stressed and I'm like, oh my God, like this is not what I envisioned for my life. But at the same time, I feel like we're all on like a different journey and like on a different path and at the end of the day like there's no right or wrong which like I have to tell myself I have to keep reminding myself I tell everyone this I'm always like oh my god like you're doing so good um but when it comes to myself I'm like oh my god like I should be doing like x y and z like what is wrong with me um so that's something that I'm trying to like grasp and like understand and like be like okay like I always joke around and say like I'm so fucking old but like I'm not I think I am but like when other people tell me like oh like I'm 26 I'm like oh like that's so young but like when I look at it and reflect and be like I'm 26 like that's so fucking old I need to like find a common ground like understand and like give myself that same like energy I guess um I also wanted to talk about the transition of being in a relationship for seven years to being newly single that is something that I I'm transitioning to I don't know um understanding and like just getting used to I think um I obviously didn't like announce it like there's no like hey I'm single type of announcement but that's just the reality right now and that's where I'm at um I've been single for like a month-ish now um so that's just something that like I'm also dealing with and like understanding and like trying to just like heal from and move from move on from um and just like I haven't been single in so long and like not that I'm like looking for relationship or anything because I don't want that right now um but it's just like a weird transition and it's just different and like when you're with someone for seven years like when you just stop talking it's like okay you need to like process that and like whatever so there's that and then there's also like the whole like aspect of like insecurities that come with age and like I'm like an overall very very insecure person so I feel like I feel like being single being in a place where like I thought like my life would be so different and like I'm behind or whatever like that insecurity kind of just is more prevalent and like present and like I'm just trying to like navigate that and recognize that like I feel like I'm always going to be insecure for the rest of my life like I've 
dealt with like insecurities and like not like being ashamed of who I am but like maybe a little bit um since I was literally so young like I remember in elementary school like I was one of the only Asian people in the entire school because I went to like a predominantly white school and I felt so left out and insecure and like different and then going to high school was kind of the same thing I was like like it was like predominantly white as well there was like a few people of color and then also not being straight in high school when I went to an all-girls high school was just like an added thing and then that kind of leads into now like the kind of like dealing with like sexuality and like understanding that and like recognizing that like sexuality changes because like I would identify as bisexual since I was like 12 and now being 26 and like not identifying with that part of me anymore and I don't really know what I identify as and like that puts such a fucking like stress over me because I was like oh my god like this label doesn't fit me anymore so like where do I fit in or like just trying to understand it I feel like is complicated and not a lot of people talk about like the in between or like just not fully knowing or like understanding it's like not like a I'm not scared but it's like a scary place to be in because like I'm just I'm overthinking everything and I've come to the I've come to terms with the fact that I don't identify as bisexual anymore mainly because I'm pretty sure I don't like men or I'm just like in that space where I don't think I do but then I'm like I don't think I need to like label myself because I think it just changes and like anything can happen and at the end of the day too like I always thought like once you pick a label like you have to be like you can't change it but like who the fuck cares like who told me that I like literally it's just about me it's my life so I can change it how many times I want um so right now I just would identify as queer and like that's what I would say because I feel like that just like feels the best and fits the best and that's where I'm fucking at in life right now so lots lots going on um while I'm recording this it's April 29th and my birthday was April 27th and I'm I have a lot of travel stuff coming up which is really exciting and I'm just trying to like keep myself in like a positive headspace because I feel like I've just been overthinking everything lately um but yeah so that's where I'm at right now um turn 26 questioning my life I'm now single I don't identify as bisexual anymore and here we are so that's the little update for you guys um if this is your first episode welcome I don't know there's lots that goes on here um yeah so then I wrote down some things that I learned over the past few years that I thought I would share because I'm such a wise person um but the first one is life is too fucking short to not do what you want to do I feel like I have taken this part or like this lesson very 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 seriously the past like two years especially after COVID because I feel like during COVID and like quarantine and stuff like obviously I partook or partaked I stayed home um and I just feel like I missed out on a ton of things not that like anything was actually happening but like for example like university like my whole basically university experience was online so I didn't experience like university as like other people did and I feel like so when COVID started I was 21 and then when it ended well when it ended it's not COVID still exists but like you know what I mean when like the quarantine ended I think I was like 24 so I feel like a big chunk of like my younger 20s was just like me chilling at home in this room that you see right now and I feel like I don't know I missed out on a lot and I didn't do a lot of things and now I'm just like in this space where I'm like if I want to do something I'm just gonna do it obviously if like I'm able to but like you know what I mean like I feel like I just used to just not do a lot of things and I'm like I'm just gonna do it because if I can I will and that's something that I learned because life is too fucking short and you never know what's gonna happen um the next thing that I learned 
is friendships are super important and they deserve to have lots of effort put into them. I feel like I've been in so many like one-sided friendships and like I just can't do it anymore. Like if someone doesn't give me any energy back, like I'm not going to give them any energy back. I used to be like the type of person that like would give so much of myself and like energy and time to people and just like didn't receive anything back but kept giving and like I kind of would drain myself in that aspect. So I just learned that friendships are important. They deserve effort, but that also has to go both ways. And if you're not receiving that effort back, then frankly, unless there's like an actual like reason, like, you know, like whatever, but like, if you're not getting that energy back, like maybe they shouldn't be in your life. The next thing I put is no one actually gives a fuck about what you do in the way that we think they do. And I needed to tell myself this and I learned this, but I still don't follow through with it or like I still don't whatever act on it, whatever. I always think people are judging me all the fucking time. Every time. Like if I post a video, I think people are judging me. If I'm walking in the street, I think people are like people do not give a fuck because I don't look at people and be like, oh my God, like blah, blah, blah. Like I don't care what other people do. And I know people don't care what I do, but like I have this like thing in my head where I'm like, people care so much. When in reality, they don't. And I'm trying to learn that and like live with that um, and just like not care what other people think of me. But it's it's difficult to say the least. Um, Another thing I learned is it's OK to fail. And I think that is something that I've learned over time. And yeah, it's OK to fail. I feel like you're not going to succeed in every single aspect of your life and that is totally okay and that's totally normal. And at the end of the day, like failure is just part of life and everyone fails. Like even the most fucking successful people in the world fail. So what are you going to do? Taking care of your mental health is just as important as your physical health. I've been dealing with the worst mental health ever recently. Um, It's been really, really bad. Um, I'm not going to get into it, but it's just, it's been bad. And I try to like pretend that it hasn't, but it has. And I've realized how important it is to like prioritize my mental health and like work on it and whatever. And I've been in therapy again. I've been in therapy on and off since I was 16, but I just got back into therapy, I think in like August and it's been going well definitely a need in my life um and also like physical health is super important too and they just kind of go like hand in hand like you need to care about both of them to like live a happy sustainable healthy life another thing that i had a difficult time understanding but like now i do um that it's okay to outgrow friendships that no longer serve you i feel like sometimes i would just try and keep people in my life because i'm like oh my god like we've been friends for a while or like oh we've like been through x y and z together blah 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 but at the end of the day like not every single friend you make is going to last a lifetime and like that is something that i've learned um and experienced and like obviously there's like some people that like what like i can think in my head right now that like i'm pretty sure like it can last a lifetime but like not everyone's gonna be like that and it's okay and I mean it's kind of hard to like understand or or like live through or experience but at the end of the day that's fucking life and not everyone is going to be in your life forever and yeah yeah I also put down trust your gut it's usually onto something and that is something that I learned because I would never trust my gut sometimes and I would just give so many people the benefit of the doubt and then like my gut was right so now I'm just like you know what if my gut feeling is like really prevalent and really there about like a person or like a situation or something I'm just going to like follow it and listen to it because half the time it really is right so good on my gut I guess I don't know um another one is embracing vulnerability is terrifying but incredibly liberating I think like I've been so vulnerable with myself and with like my closest friends recently and it like is fucking scary it's really scary um but at the end of the day it also feels very nice and i don't know being vulnerable being vulnerable is okay and it doesn't like it shouldn't impact anything like i don't know i don't know what i'm trying to say in this 
aspect right now, but being vulnerable, being vulnerable, I can't even say that word. Being vulnerable is okay. And it just feels really nice. I don't know. And then the last thing I put is don't be afraid to ask for help. Like at the end of the day, like if you need help, if you need something, just ask for it. Um, whether it be like mentally, like if you need to like see someone and talk to someone or if you just want to talk to a friend or anything like that, like don't be afraid to like reach out and ask for help because it's super, super, super important. Um, so anyways, that's a little update on my life. Lots going on and um, lots changing and yeah, so that's that's this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you got one thing out of this. If it's literally just me talking, I guess it's just me talking. Um, but I hope you, I don't know. Yeah. I hope you got something out of this. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for listening. Um, subscribe to the podcast, wherever you're listening to it on, leave a review. If you're watching on YouTube, leave a comment and I will see you guys in the next episode.